Hello YouTube. I got a question the other day that kind of interesting. I get a lot of questions. A lot of them I don't have time to answer. Every now and then one comes through and it's like, one comes through and it's interesting. So I'll answer it on here. Kind of give you a little feedback of what's happening. The question I had was, why aren't you guys running both chippers on the site? Double the production. So I'll answer that. What if we had two chippers on the site? Could we automatically put out twice as much wood as we're doing now? No. Um, right now it takes all three skitters and the cutter. It's all they can do to keep up with the chipper. The one chipper that we have. That being said, uh, all of our trucks, almost all of our trucks will run two loads a day, which is about all you can run. And with fuel and everything else, is about all you can run. So we're already at like the max there, and we can't get out any more wood. The only way that you could get more production is by hiring a bunch of people buying a bunch more iron <laughs> um, you would need a whole nother crew to get double the production um, right now the crew that we have doing all we can to keep up with the chipper keeping all the trucks that we have rolling every day so that's kind of how it works to get more wood out you would need to if we set up the other chipper on this site you would need two more skitters at least and another cut another buncher out here running full time and then you would need probably four more trucks and chip bands um, to run and you would need an, another slasher and another somebody to run it so you'd need let's see you need four truck drivers you would need another log truck driver because the one we have right now is completely busy with this crew um, so there's five drivers you need you need two operators, one for the chipper, one for the slasher, two more for the skitters, and at least one more for the cutter. So there you're at 10 guys um, just in the woods. And you're probably going to have to hire one, maybe two more people at the shop to work on all of your trucks and trailers and equipment. So you're talking uh, 11 to 12 people you would have to hire to double our production that's <laughs> to have another chipper sitting out here that's how many people you would need to to get that running you need a whole nother crew which who knows what will happen in the future maybe we'll have another crew up and going so that was an interesting question i got the other day we i get all kinds of in, interesting questions the best comment i have i think i've had so far and I've had a lot of really, 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 really good ones. I think the best one we had so far come through the other day that that the the Chipper Guy channel is so clean that rumor has it that even Jesus watches it. That was probably the one that that really made my day when I come across that one because I get some really, really good comments. That might be the one that tops them all. But I get a lot of questions, a lot of questions, and that one I figure out answer because it is interesting. Uh, to think about if you could have another chipper if ever you could just double everything you're doing with the people we have it, ju it just couldn't happen we are going when i i'm skidding a lot and i'll actually probably switch josh here in a minute this job when it comes to running skitter is like the worst nightmare for running the skitter there is a long skids it's no fun for the cutter guy either because there's hills and there's dead rot and popple chunks everywhere. I mean, look at there's some right here. There's some over there. Just dead chunks laying all over. And then you have uh, trees to cut by hand. That's one. Um, that's another one there. So by the time you start cutting all those trees, and you can't keep up with the chipper hardly as it is. With three skitters, it barely can keep up with the chipper. And then you start cutting some oaks and maples down, and then they start topping them and bucking them in the woods, and then you have to clean up all that too. And, yeah, you're pretty much 
We work uh, almost every day, no lunch breaks, which is no big deal. But it's nice to have a lunch break every now and then, at least get a break. But the trucks come back so quick. So that's why I haven't been making uh, that many um, action-packed logging videos. Haven't had a lot of breakdowns. And things have, wood's been moving on here so fast, I don't get time to take a whole lot of videos like I, like I would in some other jobs. So we're trying to get a lot of production out this job. And yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. And I thought I'd answer that question because it is kind of interesting if you just plop another chipper there, if you could just smash out a whole lot of wood. Um, you probably could have. The, the, the other chipper's getting worked on right now anyway, so it's really a, it couldn't be sitting here anyways. Um, but like if you had two landings where you had the old one set up, but you still have to have two slashers, and it's just, it takes a lot of work, a lot of money, a lot of time and energy to keep one crew um, going. A lot of wood. I mean, it take just to keep one crew. Uh, when I started chipping, we had three trucks or four trucks, I believe. Um, and with the old chipper, and then we went down to three trucks. Then we got the new chipper, and now we're up to six trucks and six chip vans. I've had as many as, I was trying to think of that the other day. We had 14... I've had as many as nine different trucks on that chipper before, I believe. Yeah. One day we had some subcontractors. We had four subcontracted trucks come in, and we had five of our own trucks running, and all of our trucks did two loads. The subcontracted trucks were going to a different mill, so they all hauled one load, and we did 14 in one day with one skidder and one chipper. The wood was absolutely beautiful. When you get that good wood, you just, them jobs go so quick. So, yeah, the trucking thing is a whole other part of it. Today, everything's kind of slow down with the trucking. They got a lot of, there's a lot of snow up there where they're going. So, that was the question. If we could just have twice as much wood out with one more chipper run, it just couldn't happen. Couldn't happen. So, that's today's story. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully we get some more action-packed videos going on here. But it has been just go, 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 go. Try to get as much done. And uh, then today I forget all of my camera gear. Uh, I, got, I got my GoPro here. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, we'll take off. I'll, I'll, I'll skid a little bit and talk a little bit. And then I realize I don't have any of my stuff except my camera. So that was kind of a bummer. But, uh, yeah. One thing you can do when you forget all your camera gear and you have one one lousy GoPro is you just keep rolling. Don't stop unless you're going to make a YouTube video. You know, that's the only time you stop rolling. That and maybe to get a little something to eat or who knows. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully that answered your question on if you could run two chippers and put on a whole lot of wood. My back's starting to feel it. I'm not going to lie. This skinner's tearing me up. Thanks for watching.